Web blocks are reusable pieces of screen that can be used for uh, many benefits, one being standardizing the UX UI. Let's see how we can use them in our systems. Okay, so we are looking at my service studio. I have an application with a module. Uh, the module for now has one entity with these attributes uh, comprising a customer with customer name and address information, so on and so forth. Uh, what we're going to do quickly is go to the main flow editor and build the standard listing and detail screens using the platform's uh, accelerators. So if you see here, uh, we have the listing screen, it's pretty standard, and uh, we have the detail screen, right? Now what I'm going to do next is, uh, in this case, the list that you see here, it shows uh, customer name and the other fields uh, that comprise of the address. Now imagine in, if in your organization you have a standard way of showing address information or a contact information, right? How can we do that with uh, using a web blog? So let's look at it. Now you can put web blogs anywhere. Uh, if you right click on any of these user flows, you will find uh, the blog option. I personally like to do them, uh, keep them under the uh, common. Let's say we have something for uh, contact, okay? And these contact web block can have some input parameters like the name and address. Kana city, maybe, and country uh, postal code. And maybe a phone number cool now with this we can start uh, building the user block here uh, here by using any of these components to design in the best possible way now let's say in my case I want to use maybe a section to display the contact name right at the top and then uh, one by one display each of these fields here so address city country, uh, postal code, uh, phone is important, so maybe I'll put it in the next line. Or maybe I can make phone more prominent also by putting it inside a tag. Uh, looks better. Let me also put the tag inside a container. Put some margin on top and bottom. Peak should be okay on top. Ten peaks at the bottom. It's nice. And there you go. Now with this block, what we are going to do is switch back to our uh, our customer listing screen, which is where we had this tabular format. We're going to get rid of uh, the columns that we already have here. So select the column and use these options on the top to delete this and this one. I'm going to add just one more for having the blocks in this case let's say this is the key contact okay and here instead of pulling up uh, the the fields one by one from the get customer security which it had earlier we're going to use our contact block I drag and drop this here you can see it brings with it the entire uh, you know the, the design work that we did just now in the block now everything is uh, in red <laughs> Uh, it, it means that I have used the blog, but I have not told him what the input parameters are. Remember, here in the contact web blog, we made some of these input parameters for which now when I'm using it in my screen, it's asking for what to show. So for these values, we can go ahead one by one. We can say the contact name goes here. Address will be the address line. City will be city. Platform is also trying to help by finding the matching fields, which is good. Postal code and the main font. And that's it. Let's publish the application to see the outcome. So right now the application is being published and it's ready. We'll launch it to see how does it look. Okay, so instead of just having a simple tabular format of displaying the address, here now we have uh, used the web blocks to display the address in a bit more better way. Okay, now that's only one benefit of using uh, web blocks. You can also use it for uh, you know, creating 
screens where you can have actions as well so you know putting buttons and put, putting more logic into it right can can be used for doing many other complicated stuff as well now one more unique feature of uh, benefit of using blocks is standardization as i said so you can select these uh, blocks here uh, in your interface tab and you can also make them public once you set this property to public imagine if your friends are developing other applications in the same environment they would now be able to reuse this block again in those applications so that's how organizations often use our systems to standardize their ux ui i hope you liked it thanks